Welcome to the Magic of Math, where we master math one video at a time. Today, my lesson is on using the distributive property to simplify. Your objectives today are that you will simplify algebraic expressions with parentheses, and we will use the distributive property to clear the parentheses. Here's the question I'd like you thinking about today as we proceed through the lesson. I'd like you focused on how do you clear parentheses in an algebraic expression? So this is a term that we use in algebra, how to clear parentheses. Let's talk about using the distributive property. To use it, we need to understand what it is and what it represents. The distributive property lets you multiply a sum by multiplying each addend separately and then to add the products. So that's a big fancy definition and let's show it with variables. So I have a parentheses b plus c. Anytime in algebra that we see a variable or a value next to a parenthesis or even next to another variable, we know that there's an invisible multiplication sign right here. So this is really a multiplied by the sum b plus c. We call this a sum because we're adding b plus c. And when we add, our answer to that is a sum. So we have a multiplied by b plus c. What the distributive property states is you need to multiply both terms inside, which are our add-ins, by a. So it looks something like this, a times b, and then a times c, and we're gonna add them together. So a times b, add a times c. If this was b subtract c, we would replace the addition sign with a subtraction sign. Let's try it on this example. We're gonna distribute. So we have two multiplied by the quantity x plus four. So the first thing we're gonna to do to simplify this expression is we're going to identify that we have to multiply the two and x, which gives us two times x. Then we need to multiply the two by the four. And we're gonna add because they're adding here. So add two multiplied by four. So you can see here, we're multiplying or sharing, we're distributing the two to both terms inside. So here's my x plus four. All I've done is taken the first term x and multiplied it by two, and the second term four and multiplied it by two. So two multiplied by x is two x. Add two times four is eight. So two x plus eight is two times the quantity x plus four in simplest form. Your turn. I would like you to simplify both of these expressions using the distributive property. Please pause now and come back and hit play when you're done. Welcome back. Let's go over the solution. So I'm going to do the first one. I'm going to multiply the 3 and the x, and I get 3 multiplied by x, then 3 times 7, so add 3 times 7. 3 multiplied by x is 3x, add 3 times 7, which is 21. So in simplest form, my expression is 3x plus 21. Let's try this one. We have a rational value that we're distributing, 2 thirds. So I'm going to do 2 thirds times x, which is 2 thirds multiplied by x. And then I'm going to do 2 thirds times negative 1, or subtract 2 thirds times 1. 2 thirds times x is just that, 2 thirds x. Bring down your subtraction sign and anything times 1 is itself. So in simplest form, my expression is 2 thirds x subtract 2 thirds. I want to show you a different way that you could organize your work to do the same thing. We call this the area model. It's a graphic organizer for you. Some students prefer it, some don't, I'm going to show you how to use it. So we're going to simplify this expression. We're going to use the area model, which is just a way to organize our work to distribute. So we have a rectangle here that has two parts. I'm going to take the value that I'm distributing, the two, and what I'm multiplying it with. So I have one addend is x and the other is positive four. So if we think about this box as being a rectangle and it has a length and a width, 2 times x tells me the area is 2x. 
The second rectangle has this width of 2 and a length of positive 4. So 2 times 4 is 8. So what I have inside is my area, and that's my simplest form, 2x plus 8. Now I'm going to ask you to try both of these using the area model. You can't tell me you don't like to do something if you haven't tried it, right? So go ahead and pause, use the area model to simplify, and come back and hit play when you're done and ready to check your work. Welcome back. So let's set these up. 1.2, and then my x, and my positive 3. 1.2 times x is 1.2x. 1 1.2 multiplied by 3 is 3.6. I just did that here. Let's do the math now. 3.6 goes down here. So 1.2x plus 3.6 is in simplest form. The second one, we're going to put 2 thirds, and then x, negative 1, 2 thirds times x, 2 thirds times negative 1 gives me negative 2 thirds, 2 thirds x minus 2 thirds. Now let's simplify an expression where we have to clear the parentheses first. So when we learn to simplify a numerical expression, we learn to first complete the parentheses. We identify the p and PEMDAS as parentheses. So that means if you see an expression like this, you have to do the parentheses first, and when you have an algebraic expression and you can't find a numerical value, you need to distribute. But the plus 6 is not inside the parentheses, so we need to just hang on to that for a little bit. So we're going to distribute the 7 to the x and the 5, but not to the 6. So there are a couple of ways we can simplify this. First, I'm going to know that I need to share or multiply the 7 times the x, which is 7 times x, and then the 7 times the 5, so add 7 times 5, and don't forget we need to add on the 6. So 7x, 7 times 5 is 35, and then my adding 6. Now I need to identify that these are like terms, so they need to be combined for this expression to be in simplest form. So I have 7x and 35 plus 6 is 41. So this expression in simplest form is 7x plus 41. Your turn. I would like you to do this as I just modeled and then use the area model to simplify the second. Or if you've really latched onto the area model and you prefer it, go ahead and do both that way. Or if you don't prefer the area model, do them both the other way, but I'm going to do one of each. So pause now and come back and hit play when you're done. Welcome back. So here is our solution. We are going to multiply negative 3.7 times x, which is negative 3.7x, negative 3.7 times positive 2, and bring that work down, and then we need to subtract 17.1. We do not multiply the negative 17.1 by negative 3.7 because it's not in the parentheses. So to simplify this, we get negative 3.7x, Negative 3.7 times 2 is negative 7.4, and we have our subtract 17.1. We're not done because negative 7.4 and negative 17.1 are like terms. They're both constants, so we need to combine them. Negative 7.4 and negative 17.1 are negative 24.5, so our simplified expression is negative 3.7x subtract 24.5. Let's do our second one. I'm going to set this up. I'm going to put my 1 half 2x and negative 8 and not forget that I have to add 11x to the area when I'm done. 1 half times 2x is x. 1 half times 2 is 1. So if you wrote 1x, that's fine. That's equivalent. 1 half times negative 8 is going to be x subtract 4. 1 half times negative 8 is negative 4, and don't forget to add your 11x. Now I'm not done because x and 11x are like terms. They both have a variable of x. x plus 11x is 12x, and we have our subtract 4. So in simplest form, 12x subtract 4. There you have it. 
That's how you use the distributive property to simplify an algebraic expression. I thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we master math one video at a time. I hope you'll come back soon and subscribe to the channel. Have a great day.